Hi, I'm Nick Del Mundo, and this is Just Press Play, where we discuss about life, culture, and faith, and how it affects us as Christian believers. If you've ever heard the term fandom, or geekdom, or fans, okay, um, medyo familiar naman kayo sa salita na yun, no? Kasi madami, <laughs> madalas naman natin nakikita yun. And especially with social media, it makes it a lot easier to be a fan of something. Okay, uh, be or having a favorite thing or having a hobby. But being a fan of something means that, you know, um, you go to lengths to acquire these things. It could be like merchandise or you try to copy who they are or it could even it, it could be even things like you're a fan of someone's work so you collect so you collect these things so um, I was a fan I was a, a Marvel fan and a DC fan so my legal sa comics so back then um, especially when I was in college um, yun ang kinakolek ko so um, every week, I would go to the comic book store. I would I would actually list down all the comics that I would buy. Mahilig um, ako sa Batman, uh, Iron Man. Um, those are the two usually um, comics that I would go for. But like I would also collect something like Deadpool. Um, I did a bit of um, Thor and X Men. So these are um, things that I like doing. I was a fan of that. So. Um, today, a lot of people are fans of them. You could be like a fan of, let's say, very common is like um, uh, what's popular now is K drama and, and K pop. So like um, uh, fans of certain um, Korean actors and actresses. You could be a fan also of like you know, BTS because it's pretty popular. Sports celebrities, LeBron James, um, you know, young compo actors, local celebrities like let's say uh, Eliza Sabrano. So these are people um, that you could be fans of. But what I want to tackle today is um, idolatry and the line between fandom, being fan of something, okay, and idolizing something is is pretty thin. People don't realize, okay, that um, they're already idolizing people or um, things or even lifestyle that's possible so and and sometimes we just you know I'm just a fan of that but we don't we don't realize that oh it's it's already idolatry so um, what does the Bible say about idolatry um, probably the most um, straightforward um, passage in the Bible will be with the Ten Commandments. No? Um, in Exodus chapter 20 verse 4, which is um, the second commandment, after you shall have no other gods before me, nakalagay, you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I am the Lord your God, and a jealous God. Okay. So, magandang um, uh, tignan na muna natin na nakalagay carved image or likeness. So, it, that's how the Bible um, would define uh, what idols are. Um, but the key here, it comes in verse 5. Sinabi, you shall not bow down to them or serve them. Okay, so bowing down and serving them, meaning that you treat these idols as um, as gods. According to the Oxford Dictionary, idolatry is the extreme admiration, love, or reverence of something or someone. Okay, so take note, admiration, love, and reverence. Okay, and, and basically it's also defined as the worship of Idols, very straightforward. Um, ano naman yung idol? Ba? Ano naman definition naman idol? 
by uh, according to Merriam Webster, it is an object of extreme devotion. An object of extreme devotion. So object meaning it could be anything, it could be anyone, right? It is also a representation or symbol of an object of worship. So representation, it doesn't even have to be a real thing. It doesn't have to be a legit thing, okay? It could be a representation. Okay. Broadly, it's a false god. Okay. That's that's Merriam Webster's dictionary. It's it's also possible that it's a false conception or it's a fallacy. Okay. It's a um, maling idea siya, okay, of something. And you worship or you adore that wrong idea. Um, that's something that you could check uh, whether, you know, uh, these things okay, could be idols. So anything or anyone okay, could be an idol to you. It's just, you know, sometimes we don't realize it that it's already an idol. Right? When you put extreme love and extreme adoration and extreme admiration and extreme reverence, actually worshiping these things already and that's what makes these things idols so i've prepared some questions that you can ask yourself whether you just to identify whether these are already idols or you know you're pretty much okay questions to, have, to ask yourself to check if you are practicing idolatry the first question is how much time do you spend them? how much Time do you spend, you know, if you're an idol of, let's say, um, of a show, how much time do you spend watching that show? How much time do you talk about that show? Okay. How much time do you look at merchandise of that show? Okay. I guess nyo, yung kahit tapos na, or tapos na yung show, okay, gusto mo pa ng, nagahan ka pa ng kwento, nagahan ka pa ng, you know, something to fill you in. Another good check would be is how much resources are you willing to spend on it? So resources could be um, money, all right? It could be, it could also be time like with someone else, okay? Or you're substituting it for something. What are you willing to trade for? So that's a good check. Pinakamadali lang yung pere. You know, you could, you could easily check of how much you spend. So for example, um, kung fan ka ng, let's say, Sarah Hironim, Sarah G. So, how much are you willing to spend on her concert when she has a concert? Kailangan bang um, front row ka? Or pwedeng naman, basta marinig mo siya ng live, okay na yun sa'yo? Even the things that um, they endorse, right? Ah, si, si, um, ganyan, she endorses Jollibee. Yeah, I'll spend my money on Jollibee. I guess, yeah. um, good check is how much and good check also is how often. Okay? Hindi lang yung kung gano'ng kalaki. Gano'ng kadalas. Gano'ng kadalas ginagastas mo. Kasi kahit sabihin mo, ah, mura lang naman binibili ko na, for example, um, case, cellphone, um, smartphone case, no? Na may picture niya. Okay? Mura lang naman yun. 100 pesos, 150 pesos lang yun. Eh, madalas ka bumili ng madaming case na gano'ng. So that's a good check because that also files, you know, like amount siya to uh, a big, big portion of your money. The next question is, is pretty critical, okay? Um, has it damaged any relationships? Okay? May nakaaway ka na ba sa pamilya mo? Um, dahil sa ganito, uh, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they argue um, that, you know, what they're a fan of is better than theirs. The next one is... Um, and this is gonna be the last check. Um, can you imagine yourself without? It? What are you gonna do if it's not in your life? Sabi natin, okay. Um, sabi natin, like for example, idol mo si si uh, si, si BTS, si popular siya, right? Yes. Okay. Now check mo, check mo kung kung ano siguro ginagawa mo. Kung hindi nag si BTS, that's, that's a one good check. And then you think about it. Mas masaya ka ba? Or mas masaya ka na kilala mo sila? 
di ba? So, can you imagine yourself na wala, wala yun sa buhay? Reason why uh, you need to check this is because idolatry itself um, is, is very damaging. One, alright, one, of course, your worship and your devotion should be towards God. That's the most important thing. That's why it's, you know, it's, it's practic, it's the second commandment. In, in the order of hierarchy, you know, it's up there. Your, your, um, repurposing your life to these idols instead of towards God. That's, that's the first and most important one. The second one, practically, okay, and hear me out, these idols affect your deci- your decision making in life. The way you decide things would usually revolve around what you idolize. The way you spend money, the way you spend your time, all right? Um, which friends you'll hang out with, you know, if they're the same as you, where will you go, what will you do during your free time, what do you want to do for the rest of your life, anong course mo sa college, okay? Ah, kasi si ganito, yung idol ko, yan ang kinuha niyong course. So, ako rin ganun rin. So, it could be that extreme. So, those are the two things that I want you to um, take note of. One is that you're replacing God. Two, that it affects your ability to make decisions. I want you to test yourself out. All right? One yes doesn't necessarily mean that you know these are your idols already. But it's a good indicator that they may be idols already. So, test yourself out. So, this is how you do it. It's, it's divided into two parts. Okay? One, try a week of cutting yourself off from these things. Okay? If you manage to do that, that's a good sign, right? Or, bakatinis mo lang, diba? So, the next part is check how long you can go without it. Alright? Check how long. So, pagalas ng one week, check mo kung ilang araw na kaya mo na wala sila. Wala sila sa buhay mo. Okay? Because that's also a good indicator that you're not addicted to these things. Okay, and and just to be clear, just to be clear, I'm not here telling you to cut these things off from your life for nothing. All right? There's nothing wrong with being a fan. There's nothing wrong with having favorite things. There's not. There's nothing wrong to being dedicated. Okay, check if these things are your idols already in your life. If these things are really idols already. If, if if you believe that these are idols ready, okay, things that you can do is one, you know, ask for help, right? Um, two, uh, you know, pray. And three, read scripture. All right. So these are things that you, you can do. It's it's and, and if these are idols, of course. And if you do, you know, decide to. Re- rededicate your life to Christ, you know, taking away these idols from your life, then these are things that you, you can consider doing. So, um, hopefully tonight when you do your devotions or, you know, um, you just pray before you go to sleep, even pray before eating, you know, um, you, could, could, you could pray about it, whether or not. It's really not, it's not just uh, a mental or physical thing. It's also a spiritual thing. So that's one thing you should really try to prepare with yourself. It's it's the mental, it's the physical, but it's most especially the spiritual. Again, this is Just Press Play, and you can find us on all of socials. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, it's Just Press Play PH. If you want to be prayed for or talked about, uh, or talk about something that you want to get off your chest, you can message us or email us at justpressplayph at gmail.com. Again, this is Migs Del Mundo, and God bless you.